All right, brief video here I'm going to put together on um, the side view mirror on my Lincoln. The uh, mirror became distorted, and um, this is just showing you I popped it off. It's a pretty basic pop-off, and you just kind of put a screwdriver in there and just pop it, and it comes off of this little um, fitting here. Disconnect the wires for the heated mirror. Um, but what I didn't find online, and the reason I'm doing this video is because... Um, I thought the mirror was actually cracked. Um, there was kind of a seam going down like the edge of the mirror and uh, it was not really cracked. Um, come to find out the damn thing is actually full of oil. It's a two-sided um, piece of glass and so there's this top piece, um, top mirror and then you can see the word heated there. And so um, I ordered the, um, the new piece of glass, new mirror which is this one right here from this company, um, Burko. And um, the observation is that the piece that was on top was um, just a clear piece of glass. So you can see that goes uh, right through and so that fat fit right on top. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna basically, uh, and I've cleaned this thing up so it's basically, you know, clear as heck. I'm, I'm undecided whether I wanna put the clear piece, piece back on um, or whether I want to go with the new piece, which is actually the mirror. And I think I'm going to go with the mirror. And the reason why is because um, this binding on the outside, this trim piece, um, is actually requiring two pieces to go on there. And if I put on this uh, clear glass, I'm potentially going to get water in the back behind there, and it's going to distort the, um, the view again. And I do want to capitalize on the heated stuff, so I don't want to break anything away. And, and it definitely requires two pieces. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to uh, put this uh, mirror piece on and I'm going to reattach the, um, this uh, trim piece around. Now the other thing is that it has this oil and I read online that this oil is actually toxic. Um, you know, I was kind of, I googled though, hey, what's this oil in my mirror? And um, somebody found that it was like a similar oil that, that is in a, propane, um, in a Polaroid camera, you know, the film that's um, from the old school photos. So you can see the little goop in there. And I've tried using some, uh, um, it's not goop, it's like a film of oil and it's really tacky, sticky stuff. So I'm gonna stop this video, I'll piece this thing back together um, with more, but um, I'm gonna fit the glass and the mirror back in there. And I'm probably gonna do a, um, a bead of um, glue gun around the seam to kind of keep the water out and from getting in in the winter time and all that. So anyway, that's my, my plan. But uh, mostly I wanted to do this video to point out that it is actually a two-piece mirror component. Um, that was not obvious anywhere. It certainly wasn't obvious with any of these mirror manufacturers. It's a Lincoln, it's a 99 Lincoln Town Car and the uh, freaking thing is awesome. It was my dad's, he passed away and I ended up um, inheriting it from him. But um, thing drives like it's out of the showroom and it's uh, just about, um, you know, 20 years old coming up. So I do want to try and get this thing repaired, and um, that's it. So I'll piece this thing together. So this is um, that trim piece I was talking about. You can see there's almost like a little bit of a zipper, a little metal ring goes around that. And um, the first piece of glass, the mirror actually, goes on the bottom, and it kind of, that zipper piece kind of sits in on top. And... Um, I got to kind of work it around so that it all sits in there nice and and flush because otherwise the whole thing won't um, come together. You know, you don't have any seams. So anyway, there's part one, I guess, or maybe part two of a few. So this is uh, this is before doing any glue, and I just kind of you can see this seam here is exposed a little bit. So I got to take the glue gun. And I'm going to clamp this thing with my hands or some device or something. I'll figure it out. But um, anyway, the point is I'm going to fill the seam in because I can't let any water get in behind this thing here. And then likewise on the other side, you know, this side here, I might even do a bead of glue gun around the outside edge and trim it with a razor to keep it watertight. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a Mickey Mouse, but um, anyway, we'll see. So this is my little clamp I said I was going to do. I was going to do something. It's not perfect, but like I said, I'm going to try and 
Put something else on there to hold that other side. Maybe it might be able to be held with my finger before I do any gluing, you know, and press it in. But uh, anyway, that's my intention. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Okay, this is, I just glued it. And um, you can see some of it is still not dried. The whiter stuff is dried. The stuff that is glossy is not yet. And uh, I might trim the edges, you know, a little bit, so keep it clean. So on the outside, when you're looking at it, you won't notice that. But this is on the rear, so nobody's going to notice it, and it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to keep it watertight. I don't want the water to get in, be in between those two pieces of glass, you know. So, um, anyway, there you go. This is kind of my deal here, and then we'll see how, um, after I remove this clamp, I'm going to do this edge right here because I didn't get that. I think that's fairly important. Um, this is the top edge. Oops. Top edge. So I wanted to do this one real good in terms of water seeping in. The bottom, I think, is less important. In fact, I might even want to just leave this one here open so that it um, it drains out of that area there. So um, that's, that's where I am so far. Okay, so that's the mirror there. All reassembled. You can see there's a little that, uh, and like I said, I'm going to trim that off with a razor. But that's it from the front view, and um, I think it, so far so good. Like I said, I feel pretty confident. Okay, so there's the finished product. Basically, it's reassembled. Um, like I said it's a little ugly on the back, but I don't think that matters for anything. And then it just uh, reassemble and pop it right back in there. I might trim that off. A little bit more there on the top. Huh. It's actually not bad, right? So I mean, you can't even. Not bad at all. Reassemble the wires there, and we're good to go. And I'll show you the finish. All right. Well, there's my mirror. Looks pretty good, I think. Huh? Into the little controls. Let's see. The glass there actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with it because it was like it was like look at, it was like looking at an old Polaroid film like through the thing. It was really it was pretty pretty tough. Very tough at night. Not as bad during the day, but nighttime was horrible. In any case, there you go.